Hey guys, welcome back to Game Devs Play Games. Wow. We're about to enter a dungeon? Dungeon? Yeah, yeah dungeon. dungeon. Straight right, up dungeon. Let's do this. Yeah, I'm worried about anyone who isn't coming back. Saray. So here's, dungeon. here's my problem. Shouldn't this be three players? Because in the last fight, didn't Soray and L uh, Layla? Lila. Lila, like, fight... Team. And Saray. Oh, please, you've been saying Soray this entire time, not, too. No, <laughs> not through this playthrough. So, you didn't know this, Saray. but we actually recorded a few episodes of this uh, before what we released, and it was bad. So we re-recorded re it, so... Then story. So it's Saray? It's story time. It's Saray. Saray. That's why I'm smarter this time. Hey. I've been saying Saray since the beginning. Well, oh, wow. Who asked, Cujo? Nobody. So, wait, what was your problem? With. Oh, yeah. So, if we played as two player with Lila and Saray. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of funny now, though. <laughs> why couldn't. Why aren't we saving? Miklio. In the mix, make it a third, a three-person party. Like, like hit the hit the menu. Let's see if it's three people. No, there's a cutscene. Oh, I guess we you can't do that. All right. <laughs> Skip the cutscene. Tony needs to know. Dude, I'm being oh my sneaky. god! Oh my god! What? Yeah, that's a little horrifying. I thought he was like, I'm being sneaky. I'm being a slime. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Eating the person gotta get the daily fiber. So in story, they're all like, "We have this, stay back." But actually, so okay. What the? Damn it! God, you pick up the wrong control every time. So the reason though why um, we we aren't fighting with three people is actually because of the way the combat system in this game works. Um, actually, I'm gonna switch to you. So the way that whoa, the way the combat system works is. The Seraphim always have to have a human partner in combat. Um, otherwise, they, they can't fight, they can't participate. So, having multiple humans in the party makes a huge difference. <coughs> so, even though you have three characters, you can only use two because you have one human and two Seraphim. Precisely. So, we can swap out the Seraphim. Um, well, I, actually, I don't think we can use Miklio right now. Um, but eventually we'll just be able to swap Seraphim with the human, right? And then it, any Seraphim can fight with any human, it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, it's, it's interesting. Um, I, like, in-game it makes sense, out-of-game it's a little weird, but it still is kind of interesting from a game design yeah, perspective. Yeah, it's definitely interesting. Um, they use it effectively, though. There are a lot of points... Wow, our grade is ridiculous. Jeezum. Defeated a powerful enemy with no items. Okay, 15 points of grade for that? Sure, I'll take it. Also, we got a copper key. Now we can unlock copper chests for the rest of the game. <laughs> oh, oh just we need game. one key and just, that's it? That's it. Oh! It's, it's kind of nice, right? Um, but at the same time, I feel like it almost is less fun that way. It's a little weird, right? Like, I kind of wish we collected keys and unlocked chests throughout the game. But right. the reason they might not have had that is to pre prevent players from just, like, having to spend a gratuitous amount of time in dungeons. Looking for keys. Looking right. for keys. Um, so on that end, I appreciate it. Right. So this, this cutscene is actually the first instance of us purifying a Hellion. He turned into a Hellion, or he was getting eaten by one. I'm not I think he was getting eaten by one. Oh, yeah. Actually, you are right. He is. He was getting eaten by one, but... So if Hellions are people, he was like, I was inside someone when you saved me. Well, not all Hellions are people. Like, these slimes, we're purifying them, right? But I think they're dying. Um, but other Hellions are like animals, right? And if we purify them, they return to an animal. Um, but we n they never really address the like things that don't really turn back into a normal form. And place your power alongside mine. And like me, you would need to dwell inside Saray, my vessel. I'll do it. No, hold on now. You need to think about this first. I need to think about this? I don't recall a whole lot of thinking when you decided to become a shepherd. That was completely different. 
Is purifying Hellions your life dream? I doubt it. I am a Seraph. Hellions are my natural enemy. Is it so strange that I should want to eliminate them? I don't know. Do frogs try to eliminate snakes? Am I a frog to you? Why are you getting so hysterical? Listen to me, Miklio. <sighs> I'm not getting hysterical. Miklio. Your liability will be waiting back at the inn. Saray, we should go after him. He said he's going back. Let him have his way. I see. This is youth. Brotherhood between men. Hmm? But even so, you should know what you did was cruel. Surely you understand how Miklio feels, don't you? <sighs> I've decided. Huh? About what? Moving on ahead. Yes, this is a fine idea. I don't even get what you're talking about. Well, the ruins won't explore themselves, though that would be grand. Yeah, so that cutscene had a lot of significant things going on. Yeah, I'm actually kind of interested by it. Yeah, you see that uh, Miklio's feeling a little... Well, yeah, he's feeling useless. majorly left out. Yeah. And and the the kind of the sucky thing, right, is that he's like, well, you didn't really take very long to consider your role as a shepherd, and that's totally true. Yeah. And even even Saray's response of, is purifying aliens your life dream? Well, dude, this wasn't your life dream just minutes ago. Right. You said you wanted to explore caves and yeah ruins and shit. Yeah. So it's like, well, that's kind of unfair. Yeah. Right. Like, they tend to brand them forbidden and seal them away from prying eyes. And if the seal was placed there by the royal family, that would suggest the key is connected to them as well. Huh? What's up? You certainly are quite the budding archaeologist. <laughs> yeah, ever since childhood, exploring ruins was pretty much the only hobby Miklio and I ever had. That Miklio, if I ever discovered anything, he'd run out the next day and discover something else. Isn't that more of, like, anthropology? Oh, that's about it. No, uh, yes. I guess it's a little bit of both. Can you unlock the seal? I'm neither of those professions, oh, right. so I wouldn't I know. The door a bit more. That's fair. I'm both of those professions. I thought so. <laughs> okay, so, basically... Oh, I think we have to check it again? Mm -hmm. hmm. What could this be? You just talked about it. it yeah, it's a little silly. I'm gonna feel around this stone thing for a second. Let's let's talk about that right there. See how it zoomed into it? Mm. Oh, that's right, we still have the royal knife. Durr. But it like zoomed into the door, but it was like this low resolution texture and it's like, uh yes. It's a little it looks right. like, like even if you're playing this game with like high the highest like settings, it still is kind of blurry. It's like, okay, mm. well it's fine to use low res textures, but don't so, try to showcase that. What's interesting right now is that the key to this part of the dungeon is the royal dagger that we picked up because Alicia had left it lying around. Yes. Now, that begs the question, was she also exploring ruins like this, or is it just that she inherited this dagger and didn't know what it meant? Well, consider, um, we found her in a dungeon. In a dungeon. Right, but the thing is, she said she passed out in a forest. Did she say that? Yeah. How did she get I was running dungeon? in the forest and then dot dot dot. Wait, where am I? Maybe she fell through the ground? Is that the implication? Maybe. I don't know. Wow, yeah, I, I missed and that. And she fell on the ground. Wait, what does this turtles say? Oh, he's a shop. Um, try on. What's try on? A try on is, is basically you can equip the stuff oh. um, just to see what its effect will be. And oh. they have nothing he can equip. And <laughs> nothing she can equip. Great. Oh, he's probably just selling items. Yeah, he's only selling items. <coughs> okay. Um, fusing is, is a very interesting concept in this game. So basically, if you have two items of the same name, you can fuse them, okay. and it enhances their effect. 
oftentimes it gives you new special effects, as you can kind of see in the, oh, the other side. Um, and it's generally pretty cheap. Like, it's far more efficient than buying new equipment. However, buying new equipment can... It, it like, heightens the, um, that, like, tier that the, the oh, equipment yeah. can so reach. Oh, yeah. So it's probably good to buy, like, two of the same kind of sword if you can. It, it depends, right? Especially if you are you max out your skill rank in the equipment. Yeah, right. Um, I think getting more stars in the equipment means that it will unlock more, uh, like, skills on the equipment. I'm not totally sure on this yet. Interesting, yeah. Um, but I do know that it caused fusion to be cheaper. Oh. Huh. Interesting. So we'll just fuse some of this stuff. All right. Um, th- my one uh, sorrow about the whole system, though, is that you can only merge things with the same names. Yeah. Um, which... I, I know that there were other games, other JRPG games, that allowed you to merge it with anything. Uh, I feel like it was some of the Final Fantasy games. And I thought that was well, really, really interesting because yeah. it had you merging things. <coughs> it, it basically meant that nothing ever becomes obsolete. Yeah, true. Um, and I really, really liked that. The problem I have with only allowing you to merge the same items is... that it still becomes obsolete at a certain point. And you right. put all this money into right. it and... Wait. Before you go into the ne- before you go into the next cutscene. Okay. We will continue this next time on Game Devs Play Games. Oh wow! Okay, yeah. Thanks for Sorry. watching, everyone. Just <laughs> see you in the It's gonna be another like 25 minute episode if we go into this cutscene. I'm not trying to be a dick or anything. So he's, just he, no, he's, he's, he's right. Damn right, I'm right. Bye, everyone. Bye. What I say all the time. I never finish. Get it. Get it. That's actually sad. Get I'm it. Sorry, no. Get it. Get it, get it.